Hello, my friend, and welcome to my channel. Today, I've got Shine Spark Hogwarts as my home, and I'm going to stand for some BFF Harry Potter plates. This is Hogwarts as my home. It's a black jelly loaded with different size circle glitters, and they're just, oof, I love it. It goes on very, very sheer and streaky the first coat, but amazingly, on that second coat, it's just magical. It totally, totally is a two-coater. I was, I was thinking at this point that it was going to be like three or four coats, but it ends up being two. Very happy to announce that. <laughs> and I did make a mess. I am quite messy, especially with jelly polishes. I don't know why, but it happens. So there we go. We're going to go in with this magical second coat. And I'm very, very excited to do this one. You know, I've been dying to use all the Harry Potter polishes. And I'd been waiting for my Harry Potter stamping plates to come in. Because I wanted to play with them all together. So there we go. Look how pretty. I'm going to do a little bit of cleanup because I do like to clean up as I go along. It just, for me, it's just easier. I don't, you know, it's not giving that polish a chance to completely dry. So I think it just comes up easier when I, you know, I do the cleanup a little sooner rather than later. There we go. I'm going to top it off with some posh top coat. You know, I like to dry things down before I get to stamping so I don't mess anything up. And we're going to just top it all off with a decent layer. Not a heavy, generous layer or anything, but a decent layer. Quick dry top coat. And of course, I've got to get Woody out because I'm messy. <laughs> and this polish is just so beautiful all on its own. I love it. And here's a swatch photo of it all by itself. And here we go. We've got the BBF M11 and then the BBF M12. These are awesome Harry Potter plates. I'm going to be stamping with Nicole Diary Silver NS04, my Bundle Monster Monocle Stamper, and my Clear Jelly Scraper. I was worried that since these images were so small that you weren't going to be able to see or even tell what some of the images were, but I'm super stoked that they just picked up great. I, I didn't have any issues with any of them. Um, now the one I use here in a little bit for the like the Gryffindor crest, it's a little small and it's a little hard to read, but the other ones like Cufflepuff and Slytherin, you can read them quite well. Gryffindor's just kind of, you know, there's a lot going on and they're like coat of arms or whatever. It's a lot of detail. So and here you can tell I'm struggling. I'm trying to decide which one do I want to use. And so I'm going to use Dobby, the house elf. I love Dobby. It's just such a cute little image. In fact, it's what drew me to this plate to begin with. I mean, I love all the images. Love, love, love them. But God, that's just so cute. Yay! And now I'm trying to decide again, okay, which one do I want? What do I want? So we're going to go with some of the wording. I love this. This is probably, I, I didn't even know this was on the plate until I got it in the mail. But it says, after all this time, always. And I love that. I just think that's so sweet. Adorable. These images are picking up like a dream. I'm definitely going to be buying some more BBF plates. So impressed. And here we go. We're going to get the owl. Because it's an owl. I don't know. You guys. Yeah, yeah. It's an owl. I'm having trouble. <laughs> and I'm going to put that above the um, wording that I just put on there. I'm wanting to use as many images as I can from this plate because I know there's a lot of interest in these and I wanted to be able to, you know, show you everything that I could in one mani. And I'm going to put that over Dobie. It's just perfect. 
to say I'm impressed with these plates would be an understatement, to be honest. These are just high quality, excellent. I'm, I'm telling you guys, I'm, I'm, as soon as I get done recording, I'm probably going to go check out their website again because they had a lot of other plates that I'm interested in. So now that I know these work so perfectly, I'm interested. I will definitely leave a link down below for Shine Spark for the polish that I have on and for the BBF plates. And here I'm going to do something tricky. I'm only going to use part of the stamp up at the top be very sneaky and then I'm gonna put the other half of the saying down at the bottom X yeah there we go I love it expecto patronum I was able to split it up I was so proud of myself I just can't tell you guys how stinking proud I was of that <laughs> I thought I was gonna have to scrape and do it twice and I've gotten real sloppy with my top coat so I'm having to do some major cleanup with Woody over here, off camera, kind of. Here we go. We're going to go on in for the top coating of the rest of them in frame, thankfully. Of course, it's a little blurry. It'll straighten up here in a minute. I hope. Come on. There we go. Okay. You can see that that does say Gryffindor. It's a little hard to read. I mean, people aren't going to see it from a distance, but... As long as you can see it, I guess that's really all that matters, right? <laughs> and this nine and three quarters, one of my most favorite things ever. I'm so glad that was on the stamping plate. Swish, swish, get those tips. So here we go. I've got several swatch photos. I know I normally just show one or two, but um, I, I just I did. Here's one of most of the fingers. I didn't show the thumb. But then here's the thumb, and I decided to go ahead and do single shots of each one. And it looks like Harry's got like devil wings on his heads from the lights. I'm sorry. And then here's Gryffindor with Spectro Patronum. And then Dopey and the Elder Sign. And nine and three quarters. But I hope you like this one. Leave me a comment down below and let me know what you think about this. I would love to hear from you. That is all I have for today. Thanks for watching, and until next time, be good to yourself. Talk to you soon. Bye.